Hello everyone, and good day. In this video, we will be discussing Homeroom Guidance 9 Quarter 1, Module 1, entitled My Study Habits, version 4.0. But before we begin, please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Once again, our video focuses on Homeroom Guidance Quarter 1, Module 1, entitled My Study Habits, version 4.0. The Learning Objectives at the end of this module, you are expected to 1. Explain how your learning style affects your study habits, 2. Assess your study skills needed in effective facilitation of learning, and 3. Cite ways on how to strengthen your effective study habits. In introduction, the pandemic situation that all of us are facing at the moment may change how you learn, but it will not hold back your education in any way. You will continue to gain knowledge and acquire skills, perhaps in an unconventional method and environment, but you can still learn. As a learner, you will get to see the significant connection between your learning style and your study habits. You will also be more deeply aware of your study habits by answering a study skills questionnaire that will help you assess the level of your study skills. You know by now that developing effective study habits is one great way of ensuring academic achievement. Let's try this, suggested time allotment, 5 minutes, entitled, Isipin mo, iguhit mo, magagawa mo. Number 1. Think of one activity that you wanted to do by yourself for a long time now. Number 2. On a clean sheet of paper slash bond paper, try to convey the idea through drawing. Number 3. It is all right if you need additional time to translate your idea through drawing. Remember that your creativity is limitless. Number 4. Below your drawing, write your answers to the processing questions. Processing questions. 1. What activity did you draw? Why? 2. Was it easy to translate your idea into drawing? Let's explore this, suggested time allotment, 5 minutes, entitled Rank Your Senses During the past 8 years of your student life, please analyze yourself and rank your most frequently used senses during learning sessions on a scale of 1 to 5. Consider the following learning styles, 1. Visual, learning with pictures and images, 2. Auditory, learning with sounds and music, 3. Kinesthetic, learning with bodily movements. 4. Logical, learning through reasoning. 5. Verbal, learning through words. 6. Social, learning with other people. 7. Solitary, learning through feelings. Assign a score from 1 to 5 to each learning style based on your personal experience and preference, with 1 being the lowest and 5 being the highest. Processing questions. 1. What have you noticed with your answers? 2. What convinced you to have such answers? 3. Could you recall the most recent experience where your rank 1 was evident? Keep in mind, suggested time allotment, 20 minutes. The activity showed seven different types of learners and while most of you have a combination of different learning styles, you can say that you have a preferred method of processing information. Each learner has a dominant learning style, since you are presently learning from home and not attending face-to-face -face classes, it is all the more important for you to get acquainted with the different learning styles, strengthen your dominant or preferred learning style, and cultivate good study habits connected to the said learning styles. There are many types of learning styles. It would help if you can identify yours so you can be mindful how you learn best. Visual is a learning style where students acquire knowledge when the lessons are presented in pictures, images, directions, and diagrams. This is often called a spatial learning style. The auditory is a learning style where students learn best when audio, music, or sounds are being employed in the learning session. The kinesthetic is a learning style where students are keen on utilizing their sense of touch and hands to learn well. 
Kinesthetic learners learn most when they move. The logical is a learning style where students use reasoning, logic, and systems as they gain skills and information. The verbal is a learning style where students learn well through the use of words in writing. And speech. The social is a learning style where students are inclined to learn with other people or in groups. The term learning style speaks to the understanding that every student learns differently. Technically, an individual's learning style refers to the preferential way in which the student absorbs, processes, comprehends, and retains information. If you know your preferred learning style, then you can be particular on the strategies to incorporate in your study habits. However, bear in mind that learners possess multiple learning styles or a combination of different learning styles. With this, there is no single type of learning strategy that you can use to learn effectively because everyone has multiple learning styles. Here are 11 good study habits for students that you can use, especially at this time of pandemic, to enhance your study habit practices. One dot know what learning method best works for you. Two, be reasonable with your study goals. Three, create a routine and stick to it. Four, balance study routine with leisure time. Five, assign a space for studying. Six, Read what you have studied and learned. 7. Learn how to properly take notes. 8. Use gadgets appropriately during class hours. 9. Join an online study group if possible. 10. Get enough sleep and eat healthy food. 11. Create a schedule and a daily to do list. You can do it. Suggested time allotment 20 minutes. To gain a better understanding of yourself as a learner, it is helpful to identify the study skills that you can use. Determine carefully if you have study skills that need a boost, but bear in mind that it is always beneficial to constantly improve your study skills. This informal inventory is a short and quick tool for assessing your study skills. Answer each question as honestly as you can. 1. Read each statement and think about it. 2. Copy the table on a clean sheet of paper slash bond paper and place a check forward slash in the column that best describes your current level as it relates to the study statement. 3. Check the following choices based on how it is manifested. A. Rarely, done once or twice. B sometimes, done four to six times, c, often, done seven times or always. Take a look at this example, reading textbooks rarely sometimes often, 1. I browse headings, pictures, chapter, questions, and summarizes before I read a chapter. If this statement happens to be true sometimes for you, Place a check on your clean sheet of paper or bond paper as shown in the appropriate column, which is sometimes the. At the end of the questionnaire, you will have a chance to self-score the results. Give it a try. Remember, applying what you learn from this questionnaire is the real key. Reading textbooks. 1. I look carefully on the titles, illustration and chapter summary before I start reading. 2. I create possible ideas which I find unclear upon reading the selection. 3. I make effort to define new words as I encounter them at first sight. 4. I try to find for familiar ideas that capture my curiosity. 5. I attempt to find for key thoughts as I read taking notes, 6. I jot notes when I read any material, 7. I take notes on class discussions, 8. I check on others' notes for comparison, 9. I try to go over my notes for review purposes, 10. I take notes to create a more comprehensive review material for advancement, studying, 11. 
I find a place that is conducive for learning. 12. I give enough time for myself to study and review my lessons every day. 13. I make sure that all the needed materials for my studies are at hand. 14. I set my goals for every study session as well. As the tasks that have to be accomplished. 15. I give more time to study the difficult lessons. Memorization. 16. I focus intensely on key ideas that I need to remember. 17. I repeatedly recite the lessons that I have to remember. 18. I create word association to easily recall the lessons. 19. I read aloud repeatedly to retain necessary information. 20. I go over my notes many times to store a large number of information in my memory. Test Preparation 21. I study my lessons in advance as a preparation before taking the exam. 22. I make sure that I have the list of lessons to be covered during the examination. 23. I approach my teacher if there are lessons that I don't understand during the discussion. 24. I ask my classmates, friends, or anyone who can help me for the review before the exams. 25. I try to create a self-made test to practice, answering possible questions that may come out in the test. Time management. 26. I keep track of my time by making a journal or a to-do list of my tasks and assignments. 27. I manage my time wisely to give each subject enough time to recall what had been discussed. Within the day. 28. I work on take-home works and projects immediately to finish it before or right on time. 29. I have enough time for work and leisure time, 30. I have extra time for studying my subjects before the exam day. Scoring rarely equals zero sometimes equals five often equals ten. After you have answered all the items, copy this scoring on your paper and put your score for each question on the appropriate blank and add your total score for each area. For the scoring, a total score of 31 to 50 shows that this study skills area seems solid for you, while a total score of 0 to 30 shows that this study skills area may need some improvement. What did you feel after? Taking the study skill questionnaire? In what areas did you score? 31 to 50? That means that this study skills area seems solid for you or that you already have established good study habits. How about those areas that you scored 30 and below? That means that in the study skills area you may need some improvement on your study habits. You don't have to worry if you scored in some areas with 30 and below because it is never too late to develop your study skills to better improve your academic performance. What I have learned, suggested time allotment, 5 minutes, on a clean sheet of paper slash bond paper, answer the following questions. 1. Why is there a need to assess your study, practices? 2. How can you maintain or improve your study, routine, share your thoughts and feelings, suggested time allotment? 3 minutes. Answer the given question on a clean sheet of paper slash bond paper. What are the things that you learned about yourself after answering the study skill questionnaire? Additional. Activity. Suggested time allotment. 2 minutes. Write a target goal to help you maintain your study habits version 4.0. Thank you for watching our Homeroom Guidance 9 Module 1 and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.